Welcome along, flight fans. So this is going to be leg one of our bush trip. We're doing the Rijeki to Santorini bush trip. I think it's time we get on with it. That's our little girl that we're going to be flying in. What a beauty. Let's jump into her, see how we crack on. Ready to fly? Yes, I am. I clicked the button. There we go. Here we are in the old wagon. So, let me put you out to the POV so you can see what I'm reading up in this corner. Our first heading is 134 degrees, you can see there. It says, Silo, welcome to the Balkans. Your tour begins in Croatia, the land of a thousand islands. As you depart from Rijeka, I think that's how you say it, airport, and head southeast toward the coastline of Vinodolski Canal, in the distance, look for a nearly landlocked small bay, Zaljev Solin, then head past it to the hook-like bay and the small coastal town of Silo. 134 degrees, 5.81 nautical miles, about three minutes roughly to get to that bad boy. Let's get you in the aircraft with me because it's better in here. Now, you can see down the bottom here, it says we're currently facing 141 degrees and our heading needs to be 134. There's a little purple arrow in that compass on that screen. And the idea is to keep that arrow pointing upwards and we can crack on with getting where we've got to go if we do that, basically. So our first thing to do is going to be rev the shit out of it. And we're going to keep our rudders on my pedals down at my feet to keep us straight on the old runway. Otherwise, we'll end up giving it the old Jurassic Park. Once we get up to about 50 mile an hour on the left there, on the screen on the left, you can see it travelling up 50 knots. We're going to give it a yank back on the old stick, if you know what I mean, nice and gentle, as if you're handling your piece. And we're going to give it a little bit of leanage. Feet climbing, but we're just going to get roughly heading in the direction we want to head, which is 134 degrees. We'll climb up to about seven or 800 feet. We don't need to be too high because we're kind of looking for landmarks and shit. What we can do is pop up here onto the hood and we can go up even higher. But if you press the space bar, then you do to give it the old midget and it'll, it'll stand up. So. Difficult with doing that as you can't see where you're going. So we're at 130 degrees, 134 degrees you want to be. You see that line? I don't know if you're going to be able to make it out, but it's ever so slightly kinked in the middle now. That's in indicating I'm a bit too far left. So I'm going to come back over this way a little bit until that arrow straightens up in the middle. A little bit like that. And then we'll just slowly bring it back to 134 degrees. There she goes, like a pro. See, look, I'm a bit too high, so I'm gonna back off the revs a little bit. Let the nose come back down. So now the objective is, there's our landlocked bay, look. Almost the water on the right there. Let me get you in the, in, in the, in the shot. That landlocked bay, look, it's almost locked. By that little bit of land that's just letting the water in that little opening. So that's our landlocked bay that we're meant to be looking for, I'm guessing. So, I'll read it out again, 134 degrees. Welcome to the Balkans, your tour begins to Croatia. So we're looking for the landlocked bay. Then head past it to the hook-like bay and a small to coastal town of Silo. So I'm guessing you can see some houses up there. That's our landlocked bay. Just there on the right that you can see. Nice bay of water, beautiful. With a little opening there for the water to get in and out. And up ahead of us, I'm guessing in that hook, there is the coastal town of Silo. Just up there. And then our next heading, number two on that little list, that's our, like, our navlog flight plan. So we can go down and have a look at this little coastal town. But our next heading will be 173 degrees for 
seven and a half miles or about four minutes roughly. This is our little coastal town, we'll zip down and have a look. Nice little bay, nice little walk out there on that on the uh, end of the landmass there, that's quite nice. trimming it off a little bit so I'm guessing that's our little town that we're looking for beautiful wouldn't mind having a house right there on the coast get over here and have a look at that sunset look lovely lovely so I'm guessing we should jump back in now to make sure that we've had our next course change you see that arrow has gone pointing over to the south so I'm going to bring it round a little bit more. You can see the arrow is a little bit kinked in the middle, so I'm just going to go past for a little bit because I went a bit long on that instruction. Bring it back round slowly to 173 degrees just so that we can straighten up that arrow to make sure that we're taking the tour in the correct manner. So there you go, we're, we're basically on course, 174 degrees, that's good enough. So, road junction, speed it up a little bit because we ain't got much, we're losing altitude, so we'll just give it some, get some, trim it up a little bit, give it a little bit of throttle. So, our next construction is 173 degrees for seven and a half miles, about four minutes. Carry on traveling south down the coastline. Follow the heading towards a gap between two large hills, some miles in distance. So we're still just slowly dropping. So I'm just going to pull back on the stick a little bit. Gain us some altitude, put the throttle up a little bit. We're running off course a tiny bit, 180 degrees at the moment. So we'll bring that back to 173 is where our log wants us to be. I'm going to gain a little bit of altitude because it looks like if we've got to make it over them hills ahead of us then we're a bit low. We'll just trim it up a little bit. You haven't really always got to pull back on the stick. There is a control called trim which you know allows you to just slowly climb and slowly descend. Look out here now, this is uh, flying over this little town. Quite cool, ain't it? Little bay down there with all the boats in it, look. Cool little town up on the mountains, look. That's, that's really cool, that is. The mountains over there in the distance. So we'll get back in the old truck, make sure that we're happy days on the old uh, heading, which we're not, we're slightly off. We're heading for a gap in the hills, apparently. I think that we're all right for getting over the top of these puppies. Getting a little bit of turbulence off the side of these hills now. Got the old chicken here, the old sat nav bird giving me some grief because I'm not high enough. But I think we're gonna make it. Easy. Easy, don't know what she's muttering about. But there's a there's a little valley that we're gonna be looking for down there. Look that's quite cool. So we'll jump to 134 degrees, I'm guessing it will say track along the state road D102 heading southeast. After a short distance it will bring you to the resort settlement of Basca, a cultural and historic centre situated on the bay of Baskanska Draga. A 
guessing that means down this. Yeah, look, the arrow's just moved. We'll bank her over. We'll get down into this valley, because this looks like it might be quite cool, this. Throttle back a little bit. Give the old girl a little bit of a, give her a breather. Cars on the road down there, look. Chilling down the valley, mate. Chilling down the valley. Look at the beautiful sunset. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see if I can get a screen grab. While I'm here. That. I've got it as well. I've got it as well, dudes. So there's our nice little... Uh, Nice little town. Heading all the way down into the bay. Look at it. Wonderful. Right, let's jump back into the old trucks. So it looks like we're going to end up in them trees otherwise. Let's pull up another little town, little car on the road down there. Beautiful little flight, leg one. Right, so our next instruction is going to be a turn. Going to have to just um, double whammy here so I can get my mouse over here. We've done that one. Follow the bay. From the bay, follow the rocky shoreline southeast. So, where are we looking? Southeast, right there we go. Going to be ahead in a, uh, of. Um... Oh, got to pull it up a little bit. Had a little vibration in the um, in the uh, butt kicker then. It's going to be a heading of 71 degrees. We're going to bring it all the way around. We're going to follow the rocky shoreline southeast. When you reach the shore's end, make your way across the waters of Velebitsky Canal. Gaining altitude as you go. Soon you'll arrive at Senj, a small bayside town on the upper Adriatic coast in the foothills of the Mala, Capella and Velibit Mountains. It's about three minutes this next leg, about six miles roughly. We'll get it all the way around to uh, 71 degrees. Gone a tiny bit long, but that's no problem. Flying right into the sun now we are. To give it some throttle because we're struggling a little bit for height. So when you pull back on the stick, you'll see the air the airspeed just drops dramatically, so you can't just go up and it's all alright. It goes down to 40 degrees and you're gonna get some stall action going on. That nitchy elbow there, sorry guys. <laughs> we can trim it up a little bit, I think, because uh, the nose keeps wanting to duck. So it wants us to slowly climb, gain altitude as you go. So we'll just leave it trimmed up a little bit like that with the power on a little bit. Beautiful sunset, look. Beautiful evening. Right across the bay, look at that. What a stunning experience this is. It's a privilege you can have this in your uh, in your house, isn't it? The world we live in, guys, eh? Since some YouTube videos recently of like Microsoft Flight Simulator over the years and like what how it's progressed and stuff, and it's just pretty phenomenal. If I'm honest, we're just going off course a little bit. Get us back on course on the 71 degrees. The wind can push you about uh, uh, quite a lot in this game. You ain't constantly watching. Right, 
much we need to trim it up, get ourselves some height again, give it some beans on the throttle. It doesn't look like we're going to comfortably clear them them um, eels in front of us if we stay how we are. Always going to the left we are a little bit. Let me get over here and move out, move down to our next one. So our next turn is going to be to 99 degrees for four and a bit miles, two minutes roughly. Right, so we're way off course now. Like you can see that yellow, you can see that purple line is clearly broken now, indicating that we're too far left. So I'm better off coming across this way for a little while just to straighten that puppy up. Just that we get back on course. Because otherwise we won't see our landmarks that we need to see and stuff. So our next one is going to be to 99 degrees. As you pass over Senge, look for the State Road D23, carving a path up a slope in the cliffside. Let it lead you into Senjka, Senjka Draga, a deep green valley enclosed by the ridges of the Vileka, Capella and Velabit. So we've had our we've had our change in heading over to 99 degrees. We'll try and look for our little mountain road. Let's jump out and have a look. Carving its way up. There's a road down there, look, carving its way up the mountain. Really cool. See it down in that valley there, the little road zigzagging its way up. So we're way left. Let's just try, let's just let's take quite a steep turn here. Just get that line nice and straight so we're seeing all the references we want to see. I want to come back to 99 degrees. Like that, and let's um, let's drop off the throttle a little bit because we're just climbing. Trim it down a bit. So there's our road. Just down there. Zigzagging its way all the way up through the mountain. Look. There's also one down there. Look. Another road to our left on the wingtip now. And that looks like it's zigzagging its way up over the valley. And this is going. This is our valley we're looking for. I'm guessing. Just ahead. Get it back onto 99 degrees. Let's jump up over here and have a look. Looks like some nice grass. Some nice manicured fields. As you pass over the Senge, look for the State Road. Yep, I've seen that bad boy. After following D23 for a stretch, look for a major highway interchange for the A1 motorway at Zuta Lokva. Our heading is going to change to 0 0.96 degrees, which it, which it might have done already. Yeah, it feels like it has, just a little tiny little change in direction there. Look at our valley there, look how green it all is, that mad. So we're looking for a highway motorway interchange. Looks like that that little mass of concrete sort of over there by the looks of it. Not doing very good on my old um, degrees, I keep running off. having a zigzagged 
line on my compass. Right, there's our motorway interchange, I'm sure of it. That little puppy ahead of us there. Back the throttle off a little bit. There we go, that looks like a highway interchange to me. Heading is going to be 136 degrees. And that is going to be head southeast from the interchange as the A1 motorway tunnels through the hills and eventually leads you to the Gaka River. Just east of the river on the perimeter of a cast air field lies the town of Otakak. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm going to go with that. That's what you've got. That's what you've been dealt, guys. Deal with it. Right, so here we go. Do our banking, because we're off course already. Get the old girl straight over, heading towards 136 degrees. Throttle up a little bit, because we've got no nose on it. So this one is for... 7.2 miles this one, so a little bit longer. Nice little lake down there, look. <coughs> I guess that's like their fresh water system maybe because it's got like a walk like a chute coming off of it, canal sort of thing. Could be, could not be, could be talking absolute bullshit. Let's have a little look just to see the altitude of that lump of land in front of us to make sure we're going to be over that. Yeah, it feels like we're going to make it over that. All the forest there, look, a lot of loads of trees. I don't know if that's snow down there or or if it's just I don't know, it might be snow, might it? The white stuff. We're quite high up in the hills. Doesn't seem like it would be though, but who knows? Who knows guys? Make sure that we're up and over, yep. Off course a little bit. Gain. Taking in too many views. Just tidy up that line a little bit. Right, so our next... Our next um, instruction is to land, basically which you should all have a laugh with. Hopefully that we, we all get to go home to our parents and our loved ones. There's going to be a town somewhere soon. Definitely a big old road down there. Up in the mountain, it's probably good for sledging. So the bit you've all been waiting for is coming up, dudes. 
get some speed up. The landing. That looks like a pretty big downtown over there. The sort of on the wing, on top of the aircraft now over there. Yep, so we've been given our next instruction. Running southeast out of Otakak, look for a state road D50 to lead you past dense patches of forest towards a grass airstrip on the eastern side. This is Raknaluka Otakak, the first stop on your Balkan journey. Everybody feel free to correct my pronunciation because I know it's wrong, but I'm just saying it how it's spelled, all right? Just saying it how it's spelled. So we need to just bank her over because I, I, I want to get that, that pink line on my compass nice and straight because if I've got to do some landing on some runway, I need it to at least be not making any last minute adjustments, if you know what I mean. So 114 degrees is where we're at. For this little puppy. Can't see any runways or anything just yet. Hopefully there'll be a flashing light for me to look at. We've got our at decent altitude, 2200 feet. Just back off the speed a little bit. Doesn't look like we're 2200 feet, to be fair. That might not be our height relative to the ground, that might just be you know, above sea level or something. I'm way off course. Way off course. Let's have a look outside, see if we can see anything up the road. Can't see an airstrip just yet, guys. See a lot of grass though, and it did say it was a grass airstrip. Kind of like asking me to land in a camouflaged field, isn't it? Oh, that's not happy. I need to climb some. Yeah, it says I'm 500 feet above the ground, but my actual, whatever it is, altimeter is telling me I'm 2,000 feet above the ground. So somebody's lying. Someone's lying while I'm trying to fly my aircraft. Get pogging out the window. Still on course, lush. Where's my airstrip then, dudes? Where's my airstrip? I've no idea where it is. Oof. Dunno. Maybe I've missed it. Maybe I missed it, everyone. Can't see an airstrip anywhere. Definitely still on the right heading we are. Don't know if it's over the trees or not.
don't feel like it would have been over the mountains, does it? Not that obvious if it is. Get a throttle up to get up over here. Definitely not in these trees, is it? just over these trees feels like we've gone way more than three miles though since our since our last course change Something ain't right here, look guys, because I'm now heading on I'm on a heading of 155 degrees and it said to head at 114 degrees. So I think I think we've got to turn around. I'm going to head back that way. I think I've missed my runway somewhere. image of it up here. <coughs> Got a road running alongside it. So what I'm going to do is try and get up high, have a look down from above and see if I can make heads or tails of what's going on with that. It does have a load of docks, like a blatant green strip of runway. With a load of docks indicating the runway. I can't see at all. I 
I cannot see it at all, guys. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we flew straight over it, dudes. There it is, right there, in front of the nose cone. So I'm going to fly around and do a 180 and come in the direction that I was supposed to. I guess I flew right over it without realising. You're going to see it right below us coming into shot in a second. So you'll see it just creeping in there. See the dots, dots, dots. That's our runway, guys. Not very well lit up, I must admit. Pretty camouflaged in amongst all the fields. But that's the beastie. We're going to try and land on that. Un momento. So we'll go past a little bit, just to make sure that we can have a decent run-up on it. Let me know in the comments down below if you saw it the first time round, and I was just an absolute monk. Sorry about the detour. Luckily we had the fuel for it. So let's jump in the old girl. We'll just turn some throttle down. Do some manoeuvrage. That was a bit of a tight turn, that. That was a bit of a tight turn, she was vibrating. So there's our runway right in front of us. Just kill them revs. Get ready, make sure the old rudders are working lush. Happy days. Kill them revs a bit more. Coming in nice and low, so we get right at the front of the runway. 500. We'll bang some flaps down now, which will hopefully kind of slow us down a little bit. You can hear the change in the air where they're creating a lot of drag. And we just want to do a little pullback on the stick as we get close to the ground. Just to try and flare us up a little bit, get our thumb ready on our brakes. Oh, there we go on the brakes, rudder it round just to keep us on the runway. Beautiful, hopefully it comes up leg complete. Boom. Leg complete checked, 38 minutes. There you go. I've already got leg two on my YouTube channel now. If you want to search for it, I'll create a little playlist for these. We plan on doing all the legs together. Thank you very much for checking it out. Keep it real, guys. Till next time.